Hello, my name is Alex Martinez, and my podcast proposal is based on the PCB dump planned for Berkshire County, specifically on the border to Lenox, Massachusetts, and Lee, Massachusetts. The proposed dump would be placed just a thousand feet from the Housatonic River. Now, doesn't that sound like a bad idea? The Housatonic River stretches for 149 miles from western Massachusetts through western Connecticut before reaching the ocean. Because of the nature of rivers, our actions in Massachusetts may have a negative impact on the health of not only us, but of Connecticut as well. There are dams in place that would help to protect Connecticut, but those dams are over 200 years old. The Housatonic River is home to many different plants and animals. In Lenox, Massachusetts alone, these species are endangered. The boreal Marstonia snail, the American bittern bird, the back sedge plant, the bushes sedge plant, the chestnut colored sedge plant, the narrow leafed spring beauty, northern bedstraw plant, the small drop seed plant, and those are just the endangered species in Lenox. There is a long list of threatened and spe special concern plants and animals living in the Housatonic watershed. A watershed is an area that has many streams flowing to a singular point. In this case, the Housatonic River. It's not some baby stream. It's large and important. In the past, General Electric, also called GE, polluted the Housatonic River with PCBs before they were made illegal to produce in the United States. This happened from 1932 to 1977, and the water is still not safe today. PCB stands for polychlorinated biphenyl. It's a man-made chemical resistant to temperature changes and pressure it's used in electrical equipment. In the 1960s, the use of PCBs went down since they were found to cause harm to humans, reproductive harm, endocrine harm. The endocrine harm is glands that release hormones, regulating your growth, your reproductive function, your metabolism, tissue function, sexual function, your mood and other areas. PCBs also cause immune system and nervous system damage, as well as being a carcinogen or cancer causing. I know you don't want that. The chemical stays in your body and builds up over time. The US Fish and Wildlife Service, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, or NOAA, and the states of Massachusetts and Connecticut negotiated with General Electric and came to a $15 million settlement for causing damage to a public resource. That money went to 50 projects to restore the river in Western Massachusetts and Western Connecticut. They were centered around aquatic resources, riparian or floodplain resources, and recreational resources. And I cannot believe that after being fined so much, the GE wants to build a PCB dump so close to that same river. The towns were holding public hearing before the pandemic, but they have already decided everything already behind the citizens' back. The towns, specifically Lenox and Lee, is where the dump is going to be located. And they are getting a massive amount of money from GE to allow the dump. Pittsfield and the other surrounding towns are also getting some money, but not as much as Lennox and Lee. The number of episodes for this podcast would be dependent upon how long the issue is on the table and whether or not people are still trying to do anything about it. 
The topics for each episode would be related to the current issue in some way. We will explore the his history of pollution in the Housatonic River, the public hearings that had taken place and whether or not a future discussion is still on the table. We will look at the current plans that the community members have to stop this dumping and how they are organizing on social media and in person and why the towns in this area would allow it in the first place. Why did they come up with agreements before consulting with the public? Why wasn't there a public vote? And also how the countrywide lockdown is affecting the movement trying to stop the PCB dump from coming to their county. A lot of people are asking these questions. Another important topic could be related to the biodiversity. How is this affecting the ecosystem? There are already some PCBs in the Housatonic River. What will be the outcome when the PCD, PCB dump leaks? As for production, online interviews could be done with people involved in the protest to get their views, their concerns, and their plans of action. If there are future public meetings, we can attend them and report the information for y'all. There are currently Facebook groups dedicated to organizing against this environmental injustice. I could possibly work with the local musicians to develop some music for the podcast as well. I know a drummer in Bennington, Vermont. Very good, knock your socks off. This topic should be important to every living thing because despite our smaller environments, we're all literally living in the one, the larger ecosystem of the earth together. And that may be just the animistic witch in me, but even looking at the cold, hard science, it's still plain to see that things are interconnected, everything in fact. And this PCB dump could happen in your own backyard. It just happens to be Berkshire County today. Anyone with children should be compelled to listen to this podcast. The proposed dump is close by to schools, a few of them. If or when the PCB dump leaks, all of those kids will be in danger. It will affect how they develop growing up. And the PCBs won't just be in the water and soil, it moves through the air as well. The proposed dump is only for lower level contaminants, but with the compound effect it has in the human body, I'm sure it will have long-term effects on those kids especially. In the agreement, GE agreed to build a double liner, a good sturdy lid for the dump, and groundwater testing capabilities. Very important. But historically, the invincible human creations always break down. For example, the Dakota Access Pipeline was a big to-do. The protests against that thing were incredible. I know people who traveled from Williamstown, Massachusetts, all the way to Dakota to protest it. In summary, an oil pipeline was being built through sovereign Native American lands their grave sites even. And that thing busted almost immediately after it was built through the Native American land, poisoning their water and their soil with oil. And with global warming, the behavior of the earth is changing very fast. And scientists are having trouble keeping up with the chain effect that's going on the earth is reacting in unexpected ways. There have been more earthquakes lately. The earth moves everywhere. Even though over here it seems slow and unnoticeable, it still moves. And a dump holding PCBs just cannot sit there forever. The formatting. A future podcast episodes would be quick and informative to get the most information out in the least amount of time. Interviews may be held in some episodes with 
people involved for the interviews, we can relax things a bit and give them time to say what they want to say. They may not be able to speak their minds at a public hearing properly. And I would think podcasts would be a good opportunity for them to get their points across, the points that they're most concerned and worried about. I'm not sure what the guidelines for the Berkshire hearings have been, but I have spoken to activists in the past environmental activists, and they have said that they only get two minutes to speak, just two minutes. But they let the polluters rant on forever to say as much as they want. I would like each podcast to end with advice on how you can get involved in putting a stop to this travesty and make a difference yourself. And you can support the No PCB Dump sign campaign on GoFundMe <laughs> to help raise awareness of this issue. The profits from this GoFundMe go to making the sign that you see here. When you drive through Lenox, you can see a couple on the grass, although I don't believe there's nearly enough right now. They have made a few hundred dollars so far and they're working with what they got. If you would like to help, check out their GoFundMe page and stay tuned for the next episode of No Dumps.